getting pretty late. Yes, I guess it's time for rest. Absolutely. After all the, that plot exposition, it's time for rest. The next day. I'm on the leash shift today, so I should head in. Uh, Alright, let's go. I forgot I have this stupid calming towel in my inventory. I should have put that away. Oh, well. Oh, well. <clears throat> I wonder if there's any new side missions. Probably not at this point. I've done a million of them. I'll double check when I get out to the street. I'd be very surprised if there's more at this point. Suzuki, just the man I wanted to see. It's Wada. <clears throat> what is it, Wada? What, you got a stomach ache? Yeah. I'm in the middle of a ride, but I got these sudden stomach pains. Yeah. <clears throat> you be okay? I just explained to the boss that I need someone to come take over for me. I know you're not working now, but could you take this passenger? You want me to drive them? I could really use the help. I'll let the boss know. Looks like he's in pretty bad shape. All right, leave the rest to me. Oh, what the hell? A man in black. Who the hell is this? I need one Suzuki. This guy. Wait a minute. He's actually black. There's an actual black character in Yakuza, can you believe it? A man in black who is black. It's Eddie Murphy. Dude, it's fucking Eddie Murphy! It looks just like Eddie Murphy! Huh? I know this guy. Oh, well, if it isn't good old Kazuma. It's me, Max Shinazuka. You helped me out a few years back. Don't you remember me? That's right, we met before. He's a photographer that travels around the world, if I remember correctly, yeah. but... Sorry, I think you have the wrong guy. My name's Suzuki. Oh, it's so good to see you here, Kazuma. Like I said, I'm Suzuki. Wow, Kazuma, it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> He's not buying it. He's not listening to me. I don't want anyone else hearing this, so I better get moving. I'll get you where you want to go, sir. Hop in a taxi. All right, Kazuma, old buddy. <clears throat> yeah, this is the photographer from Yakuza 4, wasn't it? I think so. At least in here, no one will hear him calling my name. Dude, he looks just like Eddie Murphy. I ran into some big trouble in India. Hey, are you listening to me, Kazuma? Yeah, how have you been? Busy as usual, traveling the world to find perfect shots. Perfect shots? Photographs that capture a definitive moment. Perfect shots have the power to bestow revelations on a person. Yup, he's the one who lets you do the revelations. <clears throat> revelations? That's right. When someone has a revelation, they can unlock new abilities hidden within them. I see it as my mission in life as a photographer to find these perfect shots that trigger amazing revelations. Yeah, uh, I remember you saying something like that when we last met. Yes, you helped me out back then, remember? Did I? Of course. I was happy to send all those perfect shots you sent me. But lately, you haven't been sending them. That made me feel so lonely. It was hard. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've been busy. <clears throat> no problem. It's all wonder under the bridge. Water under the bridge. But I'll let you keep finding perfect shots to trigger revelations. No, don't tell me you forgot how. <clears throat> no problem. All right. He's going to show me how to take pictures, I guess. This is something that in Yakuza form, it was not self-explanatory at all. They were like, oh, you could just do it. You'll find these things. And then I never found another one after the fucking first one. I had no clue how to even detect one. I smell a great shot in the making. Yes, I've taken enough photos to have a sixth sense. I'm certain something around here will trigger a revelation. It says, to trigger a revelation, you need to resolve problems that occur in that locale. There's no way of knowing what events will trigger a revelation, but it pays to try and fix any problems you come across. <clears throat> okay. Also, try using a range of weapons. Who's calling at a time like this? Oh, sorry, honey. I didn't forget, I swear. No, way. I'm coming right now, fast as I can. Love you, honey. That was my mom. <laughs> Kazuma, what is it? Something urgent came up, so I gotta go. It's a shame I won't be able to take that perfect shot myself, but you can do it. I know you can. But hold on. Adios. Oh, my God. Eddie Murphy is fucking whipped by his wife. Revelations, huh? He seemed pretty sure that something was gonna happen. Well, I better get this taxi back to Nagasu Taxi Company. Hey, you. Give me a ride. Follow that taxi up ahead. Huff, huff. Uh, what? You're gonna turn down a paying customer? No, I didn't mean... Well, then step on it. They're getting away. He seems pretty agitated. Refusing him a ride might be not... Make you... Refusing him a ride might not be good for the company. I can't fucking speak. I guess I have no choice. All right, get in. 
Make sure you don't let him know you're following them. I finally tracked down where you live today, my sweet little Ryoko. He's a fucking stalker. Wow. I better let the other taxi get away without him realizing. He's a stalker. Suddenly lose sight of the car. Okay. What? Uh, I couldn't go. I couldn't do it. Oh, what bullshit. I couldn't take a left because there were fucking pedestrians in the way. That made no sense at all. <clears throat> what a great mission. Sorry, I tried my best, but I lost them. Shit, I thought I was finally going to check down where Ryoko lives. Why'd you do it? That was on purpose, right? Yep. No, of course not. I'm not convinced. I better head over... I better... I'm... I... I better head after Ryoko or I'll lose her. I'll never get in your taxi again. You're fair. There you are. Who are you? The name's Oyama. I was driving the taxi in front of you earlier. You lost me on purpose back there, right? Thanks for that. Oh, you were in that taxi? Sorry, I ended up following you. I thought so. So that guy was up to something, huh? What was going on? Yeah. My passenger was a young girl. She said a stalker was following her and asked me to shake him. <sighs> this wasn't the first time either. It sounds like he's been after her for a while. Damn. Thanks to you, nothing came of it. I see, so my passenger was stalking yours. I did get a bad vibe from him. Well, I'm just glad that the girl's safe. I picked her up a few times now, and she's around the same age as my daughter, so I wanted to make sure she was alright. Well, I better get going back to work. Here you are, Suzuki. Hey, Wada. I appreciate you helping me out. I'm feeling better. Alright, heading back to work. Thanks again. All I had to do was take a giant, monstrous fucking dump. He was like... Oh, oh, oh. And then he's fine. Forgot to tell you. Something important. If you take a perfect shot, I want you to upload it to an image site. Okay, good for you. Fuck you. Alright. <laughs> Fuck you. What is this? There's an exclamation point. You see that? There's an exclamation point behind me. Let's see what that is. That's something new. Maybe that's a revelation. Maybe they actually put them on the map this fucking time. That'd be nice if they did. What the hell? Are you kidding? I had to fight this fat fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Your. Mother. You just hit me with that fucking sword? Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh shit. This guy with the fucking sword. Trying to counter, it's not working. Here we go, I got him. Counter attack, a headbutt while he was winding up. Oh. Fucking owned. You got a short sword with a nicked blade. Alright, what's this? Look. My arm's broken. What the fuck? A hardened gangster. Watch where you're going. Boss, I think my shoulder's dislocated. But I barely... Looks like a shakedown, but the victim looks like kind of familiar. Oh man, that's a complex break in his arm for sure. How are you gonna make this right? His arm, but I bumped into his shoulder. Don't give me that shit. You bumped into his arm so hard you broke it. Yeah, right. They're both <laughs> pretending like they got hit. There we go. Hey. <clears throat> huh? What the hell do you want? Aren't you a little old to be putting petty shakedowns like this? Hey, you mind, Pops? I have to get to the hospital, so back the hell off. You look perfectly fine to me. 
Well, let's, let's get Cup Pops here some slack. After all, I think he's saying he's going to pay up instead of fat ass here. Show me the money. You guys just don't get it. I guess I'll have to teach you the hard way. I guess we're going to have a beatdown. Oh, so much for that. The hardened gangster got fucked up. And I leveled up. I kicked him with the balls, dude. Come on. Right in the fucking balls from behind. Boom. As hard as I could. <laughs> Ugh. Now, if you really want to go to the hospital. No, please. Any more of that, I really will have to have some broken bones. We're really sorry. And they run away. What a bunch of idiots. You alright? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Kiryu, is that you? Wait a second. It's me, Kamiyama. You know the guy who mods stuff over in Kamurocho? Alright, Kamiyama, the weapons guy. But I can't let him know it's me, so you never know who might be listening. You got the wrong guy. My name's Suzuki. What? Uh, See you. Uh, no. no, wait. What? Mr. Suzuki, is it? Would you mind coming by my shop? Your shop? Yeah, you see, in addition to Kamurocho in downtown Ryukyu, I also set up shop in Nag Naga... Nagasugai. <laughs> Nagasugai! I'm sure you'll find something useful there. So what about it, Mr. Key? I mean, uh, Mr. Suzuki? Kamiyama's shop might prove useful if trouble comes looking for me. All right, lead the way. <laughs> right this way, Mr. Suzuki. Good lord. I can't say these names. Manga manga bugi baba kai michidoku. This is the Nagasu branch of Kakamiyama Works. I don't have all that much merchandise, but I think it will gradually add more. I specialize in weapons, and I could do this uh, and that with arms as long as you pay. All right, he's trying to go national, blah, blah, blah. You can invest and make it so that he can do more stuff by donating materials and cash. All right. Oh, uh, All right, what should we do? Produce a weapon, produce protective gear, buy an item, invest. The short sword. Calming towel, give him the calming towel. No, oh, it's only fifty, fuck that. And the plates. Iron plates, I don't want those. The fuck a fish? Give him a fish. Hit level two. <clears throat> Invest again. No. Too many times. Come on! He keeps popping up. Fuck, man. Ah! Frustrating me. No! Battling the menu. The menu is the most th the difficult thing in the game. Here we go. Level four. You can now make new items, binding and fighters binding. Huh. Oh look, chain mail and battle mail, wow. Insulated shirts, special ally shirts. Wow, he sells a ton of shit. Wow. Each one has a little bit of a, a different uniqueness to it. You see that?
I wonder how many of these I can equip at once. This was just fire and electrical shock. This one lets you let, uh, prevent you from being defenseless. Slight resistance to bullets. An expert at grabbing and throwing opponents. There we go. Look at that. You can make all these items. Look, a black jab, a super ally fight. I can't afford most of these. I don't really care about these anyway. All right. Can you reload the pistol? Damn, it's expensive. Fuck that. Alright, that's it. Oh, look, his repair kits. He has normal items, too. Healing items and stuff. That's good. Okay. I guess we're good. So what do I want to equip? I just bought a ton of stuff. Look. Oh, by the way, my I have upgrades available. Uh, Four points, huh? Stop bullets now, or a guy who's about to shoot. There, I bought two more counter attacks. Items. Eight, eight, and six. This is great. There's only five, zero, and zero. Let's see. Gives you defense of two and it lets you incredible strength of throwing opponents. Yeah, because what does the, the glove do? Opponents have a hard time escaping a wearer's grip. Yeah, that's kind of crappy. Oh, I don't even care about this. This is dumb. There's something else I can put on. Fighter's binding? No? Ah. Well, it sucks that you can only put on one at a time, right? I don't know. This gives you one. This gives you one. The towel gives you one. Remain calm at all times. I don't know what that does, though. There we go. We'll do that. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, we got some good defensive items. Now, first defensive item in the game. I just equipped it. Gives you some big defensive boost. That's good. All right, where the hell am I? All right, I guess we'll just advance the story. Wow, I'm right next to it. Oh, I'm right down the street from it. Yeah, there's nothing else to do but advance the story. So let's go up here. Let's save the game. So that was a big, little, a big segment there. Fucking car. God damn it. So we'll save the game. Wait a minute. Look, trash. Ah, community service of B. There's more here, look. Okay. Maybe we'll save along the way. There's a phone booth here, so maybe save to save all the stuff I just did. Seen any more trash? Aha! All right, I'll save the game. I'm gonna use the item box too. I'm gonna put some of these things away that I bought because I can't wear them all at once. Once this shirt gets like too much damage, then I'm gonna swap out to another defensive item. But I don't need the other ones right now. <clears throat> cool. Damn, I've been playing a lot with freaking Kazuma. I don't know if I'm going to go into this much detail with the other characters, because you know there's going to be like four of them at least. Everything else is equipped that way too. There we go. Alright, on to the next mission. This way. <laughs> 